cosmetic and hygienic products are an integral part of our life. Every day, billions of them are used throughout the world. However, a number of those products contain ingredients which have been tested on animals. Animal testing is performed for the safety and risk assessment to ensure that the ingredients in those products are safe and comply with EU safety regulations. Against this backdrop, any new ingredient that will be used in cosmetic and hygienic products must be thoroughly tested. However, as of March 11, 2013, the European Union will implement a marketing ban of cosmetic products which contain ingredients that have been tested on animals for the purpose of the EU cosmetics regulation. Thus, new approaches are required. Notox is a European research project. It began in January 2011 and will run until 2015. The goal of Notox is to develop alternative testing methods that will eventually replace animal testing for repeated dose systemic toxicity. Notox is co-funded by the European Union and Cosmetics Europe, the European Trade Association which represents the interests of the cosmetic industry. Roxandra Dragia Ackley is head of the Health Directorate General of the European Commission. She particularly welcomes the cooperation with industry to fund innovative scientific research. The main goal of Notox is to develop alternative methods to animal uh, models uh, using cell culture and computational tools. Um, this particular project uh, how is part of a larger initiative at European level uh, targeting development of these alternative methods, but it is to be noted that this project um, is a large-scale effort involving more than 100 uh, scientists throughout Europe. This initiative is called SOIRAT-1. It is composed of seven individual projects. Each project brings together its members at regular meetings. At the research center in Ria in Versailles, France, the Notox group convenes to assess the work progress. Since developing alternative methods to animal testing is a challenging task, Notox has assembled leading academic experts from various research fields, along with representatives from small and medium enterprises to establish predictive models for long-term toxicity. Basic research on living cells is a vital part of Notox and is undertaken at a number of sites, including the Institute for Biochemical Engineering of Saarland University in Germany. The scientists aim to understand the complex mechanisms of human cells. However, Notox goes even further. The important thing is that we, uh, we work uh, towards uh, prediction. Uh, that means that we create systems that allow us to predict what humans, how humans will be, uh, will be reacting uh, to exposure to certain chemicals. The Notox team regularly discusses and monitors individual research progress. Within this context, Professor Heinzler and his co-workers visit their colleagues from the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence at Saarland University. They present their models of the three-dimensional structures of human cells and their proteins. To perform this task, the scientists use computer graphics, tomography and digital image processing. Meanwhile, their colleagues at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden, aim to develop in vitro tests for human cells that mimic the in vivo conditions of the living body. <laughs> Professor Magnus Ingelmann Sundberg and his team put liver cells in petri dishes and expose them to toxic substances. They can thus draw conclusions on toxic effects on the human body. However, mimicking in vivo is challenging. The very important issue in in vitro testing is to get the cells in a native environment. They should have an environment in vitro which is very similar to the environment in vivo. And in vivo, in an intact liver, for example, the cells are surrounded by other kinds of cells which are used to, to have around them and then they are happy. The significance of liver cells is being discussed by Notox coordinator Elma Heinzler, epigenetics expert Jörn Walter and co-coordinator Fosia Nor. 
liver cells are important because liver cells are central in terms of metabolism. Even though we are dealing with cosmetic compounds, these compounds eventually end up in the human body. And, and then they are, uh, they are uh, traveling through the liver, and by passing through the liver, they are subject to modifications, or they can also create toxicity in, in the liver. To explore these toxic effects, Professor Jan Hengsler and his team at IFADO Institute at the Technical University of Dortmund have been working with omics techniques. They are used to measure and analyze the enormous amount of data generated during research on cells. The big advantage of omic techniques is that genome by data can be generated, but then the difficulty is to understand this huge amount of data. For this purpose, computer techniques can be used which generate classification algorithms. So by these techniques, we can use the huge amount of data to classify chemicals using these uh, algorithms, and this is a big advantage. In the meantime, Professor Philips Lusalek is discussing the progress of work with his team at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence of Saarland University. Like all the other NOTOX scientists, they are entering uncharted territory. Somehow the toxicity has to be reflected in the cell, and we're trying to find exactly how it is being reflected. Some of the structures um, will be changed by the toxic uh, uh, substances, and so we're exactly trying to find these changes uh, really in the three-dimensional structure of the scene, and so this is, really hasn't been done, and so we're, we're really trying to do push the, push the border of science there. Pushing those boundaries also implies permanent scientific exchange and communication on new research results, but also on problems and limitations. This culture of sharing knowledge is an integral part of NOTOX. I think the expertise that is gathered in, in, in NOTOX is, uh, is bringing us a big step forward. Uh, first of all, um, there is a huge, huge knowledge about the primary cultures and primary cell types in the human. And the comparison to artificially cultured in vitro systems will be, um, will be done on a, on a high level. And if we, come, we put this together, we will certainly see differences, but we will also see um, or approximate a similarity of a human organ. Uh, this is my hope. To make this hope a reality, scientists all over Europe are collaborating in the NOTOX research project. And they all work for the development of alternative testing methods. Thanks to the efforts of the NOTOX scientists and supported by the legislation of the European Union, the ingredients in our cosmetic and hygienic products will eventually be free from animal testing.